So we want to go into the lesson. This lesson I've titled The Strength Inside. We all know that we are powerful beings created with this um, great power within. And each time we gather to um, for these lessons, we are always um, wanting to go and awaken that power that we all have within us. So thank you all. Join us, um, join in as we um, have this um discussion and as usual after a lesson presentation we always have a time of interaction at the end of the um, lesson so we know that as you share and discuss this truth you can transform your life and manifest happiness health and love we always want thing to manifest happiness health we are health because we are connected with wholeness and love. So we want to imagine waking up each day to realize that you hold the key to transforming your life. It's a realization, it's an awakening we all want to come to each time that we hold, we have access, we hold this key that we can transform our lives with. And all are one of the things we gather to do is to learn how to do this. Our mission statement ends with transform our lives for empowered living. So we have, we hold, we've been created with this thing within us. We have this key, the password to transform our lives. So we want to um, learn how to use it. And this realization can be both empowering and liberating. It's very um empowering to know that you have everything that you need for life and godliness has been created within you you have it within you so we want to take on go on that journey within it means you possess the potential to make significant changes regardless of whatever that is happening around you you can transform your life you have the keys you've been created with everything with everything you need for life and godliness you have it within you. Each morning then presents a new opportunity to harness this power, to redefine your experiences, to direct your life, your desired um, direction. Anyway, you, the direction you want to move, you can because you have been created with everything you need for life and godliness like you have the password to access it so think about the first moments of your day when you wake up in the morning when you open your eyes you are faced with a fresh start a clean slate a blank canvas on which you can draw paint your dreams your goals your direction this is what I want to achieve this day. And you can paint it. And what happens is that when we have this structured, it's easy to detect anything that's working contrary to your goal. This is us waking up in the morning. So this is the moment when you can choose to leave behind any and all negativity. You slept with heavy, you slept heavy laden, so much worries, fears, false evidences that appear real, self-doubt from the past, challenges, failures, things you've tried and you've not succeed. You slept and you woken up with it, you want to get rid of all this in the morning. As we hear Reverend Hart often said, yesterday ended last night. And what happens when you wake up and you still remember those things that are still heavy in your mind? We are human, those things are possible. What do you do? We do our affirmations, we do our declaration, we let go. Speak it out. This is not what I want to create this day. I let go of this worry. I let go of this anxiety. I let go of this sickness. This is a new day. I want to create love, power, abundance, 
wholeness this day. So leave it all behind. It's too heavy to carry into a new day. It will slow you down. When you carry all those weights, you have it within you. You can't focus. It will blow your view, your thinking also. It's challenging to create with this load of yesterday. In this teaching, we learn to focus on the present. It's a new day. We are in the present moment, and the present moment means letting go of all those. You want to embrace the day with open hands and mind, remembering you are the creator of the world you want to see. We are talking about using this, harnessing the strength inside. So just as a chef carefully selects the blends and ingredients to create a delicious dish, you can create a perfect day. Yes, you can. We want to, in this teaching, be intentional about what we are doing, our creations. Think about when you're trying to put some food together, you gather your ingredients. You can also piece together everything you to create a perfect, fulfilled day. I can imagine, oh, this, I want to create this. You write it down and you write all the things that you need to create that thing. Oh, I do not want this today. You nip it in the board, you get rid of it. You can fill your thoughts with refreshing energy and positivity for the day. How do you do that? You can meditate, you can do your affirmations, you can do your declarations. I remember this week I asked someone, I said, how are you? And the person said, I am blessed. And it hits me, that's great. I am blessed. I'm whole, I'm complete. What do you say with your mouth? What do you declare? What do you affirm? So this can be true affirmations or declarations. You can declare a thing and it will come to pass. That's the power that you have. You can declare a thing and it will come to pass. Your declarations is like sending your words on errand and it will not return unto you without fulfilling the purpose for which you have sent it. You are that powerful. So we intentionally concentrate on what we desire to attract and walk through it affirmatively. Imagine the power of knowing that each decision you make, the thoughts that you entertain, and the actions you take contribute to what you are creating. So your thoughts, your actions, your affirmations, your declarations, they're powerful. And we gather each time to remind you of these truths about who you are. You can declare a thing and it will come to pass. And this awareness brings a sense of responsibility and control. So you have control over your life. You are responsible. You know that when you put this together, it will result to this. And on the contrary, if you also do otherwise, it will also result to something negative. And what does this mean? We are not at the mercy of external circumstances or other people's opinion. You are the captain of your ship. You can do what you want. You can create what you want. Instead, you become the author of your own story, shaping it with every choice. It's entirely up to you. It's your decision. You have the power to do that. So you are free to reinvent yourself. You're free to to break from limiting beliefs and create a perfect day, a perfect reality. Everything boils down that you have this power to within you and you can use it. So how are you using it? 
we often we sit here in the past that past mistakes or failures do not confine us. You can use them as stepping stones towards a brighter future. This truth is not subject to precedent. You can wake up and change everything, every story. Because it's about principles that when you apply it to work wherever you are. These classes teach us to go on that journey as often as possible. That journey we often talk about without a distance, going within, is the inside work we all do. What do you want to create today? What do you want to see in your life today? Do you know you have the power to do that? And when we go within, there's always peace. There's clarity. The peace that surpasses all understanding. So with this spiritual awareness, we wake up each day with positive expectancy. Embracing the day with a heart full of hope and a mind open to divine possibilities. I always like this word, positive expectancy. Remember, we are one with infinite possibilities. And um, we look forward to the blessings and opportunities that lie ahead. We start the day believing that good things are here, positive expectancy, and more are coming. You're swimming in the goodness of life, the goodness that the spirit, the universe has provided. They're not away from you. You are in it. Even when the situation is not, um, it's contrary, positive expectancy is we are expecting the good. We are seeing the good. We know the good is there. It's an attitude that aligns us with the abundant energy of the universe and it allows us to attract positive experiences and outcomes. That's what we as, tr as truth students work towards. That's the work we do. We are always positively expecting good. So as we open our eyes each morning, we do so with the confidence that we are guided by a higher power that desires our highest good. The thoughts of the universe for you, for me, are thoughts of good, never of bad, to give you a future and a hope and an expected end. So we often say the universe conspires to help us achieve our purpose. That's what it does. That's what it's, it's there to do. But it will act on what you present to it. If you're presenting positivity to it, it will give it back to you. And this is not just wishful thinking. Remember, we don't wish a thing. It's a powerful act of faith. You don't just wish for things to happen. It's, a, it's, an, it's, a, it's faith in action. And what is, we talk about positively expecting something good, seeing something good all the time. And we're saying it's an act of faith that's just seeing those things that are not as though they were. So it's a, it's a powerful act of faith because we know we are co-creators with the divine. We are capable of manifesting our deepest desires through what we think, through our thoughts, through our actions, through our affirmations. So all we do is to remind you that you hold this key to transforming your life. You have it. And we want you to use it. You have the password. As when there I said, you are not stuck where you are unless you decide to. Again, it's your decision. You can change your circumstance no matter how challenging they may be.
The greatest discovery of all time is that a person can change his or her future by merely changing his or her attitude. This we've heard a number of times. Ralph Waldo Emerson put it, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within you. You are one with divine, you are one with infinite possibilities. All we do is to awaken to this um, power that we all have. It's there. And we learn how to use it for our own good. You have so much within you. But the challenge is that we do not use it. And the more you use it, the more you know your perfect, perfect um, ways of using it the better it becomes. Imagine knowing that anytime if you declare a thing, it will it shall come to pass. So why are we not affirming? Why are we not declaring what we want? Why are we not declaring abundance and walking towards it? Why are we not declaring wholeness? So connecting with your inner self gives you the wisdom and clarity necessary to move navigate life challenges some 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 of the challenges we 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 are facing all we needed would be just direction wisdom the deep the deep insights the deep secrets revelations into the deep secrets we can go within and get answers to those things take action to fulfill this this is living the empowered life you're living your life from that place of knowing that all is well. All is well. It's also an invitation to awaken to your inner power and embrace this great potential that we all live. We often say, in it we live, we move, and we'll have our being. We are one with it. It reminds you that you are not a passive participant. You don't allow the general consciousness or people to dictate what happens to you. You are in control of your life. You are the active participator of your own life and you create what you want to see in your life. So, and we started by saying that in the morning, what, when we wake up, what do we do? We get rid of the past on every heavy leading and we create the today, the day we want to see. At this time, the perfect thing that we always want to know is that we can create the present time, the present moment, the now moment. That is the most powerful time because we can be abundant. We are, we are in alignment with divine. We are in alignment with infinite possibilities and everything is possible in that present moment. So whenever we are in a situation where the day has taken an unexpected turn, everything seems to go wrong. In those moments, it's easy to become discouraged and overwhelmed. But as true students, I want to remind you that we have been given a remarkable gift that power to change, that power to restart our day at any time. It's only a thought and a thought can be changed. That's why all we do is to remind you of these principles, to remind you of who you are and the magnitude of the power that you have within you. So we can start to use it. We can restart your day anytime. Anytime you have the power to do it. You can start your day all over at any time. If you don't, if you do not know you have that power, we said it a number of times, you have that power to do that. It's only a thought, and your thoughts can be changed. You can nip anything contrary in the board. How is this possible? You may ask. It all begins with a change in our thoughts and our awareness. You see, our consciousness holds immense power. It can change in the twinkling of an eye. 
and as it changes, so does our life. Remember in the Bible, it says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So you can change every, any trajectory that you do not want by changing those thoughts. Changing our thoughts and awareness requires daily practice. You hear the word, you run with it, you put it to use. It requires discipline. It requires commitment to seeing through the lens of infinite possibilities. We're always talking about this lens, of knowing that all things are possible. We always want to put on wear that lens because once we wear that lens, we know that we are viewing it from that place of connection. And that place of connection is a place of alignment. That place of alignment is a place that we know that all things are possible, that all, every, all is well. So it gets better, obviously, with practice. Another thing we may ask is, how can we apply this truth? We want to be aware of our thought patterns. Because our thoughts are creative. So if we begin to monitor those thoughts, that's something we do every Thursday. We always ask this question, what has it been like being you? Because we are wanting to be mindful of our thoughts. Whenever they are down, we know it's going down and we learn to nip it in the ball. When negative thoughts arise, we must consciously dismiss them and replace them with positive affirmations. We all face different situations, circumstances, and we have been told or learned to always work out our own affirmations for whatever situation you're going through. Affirm it. Put it up where you can see it. Use it as often as possible. You may record it and also play it. We want to surround ourselves with uplifting ideas. Listen to these lessons. So many of them on the net. All over. Meditations. And encouraging words. And being company of like minds like we all have. Who you are, what you believe about yourself will be what you create in your life. If you believe all things are possible. Who you are is shaped by what you believe about yourself. So what do you believe? Do you believe that you can do exceedingly abundantly above what you think or imagine? Do you believe it's possible? If you don't believe it, it you won't get any results. I believe I can do exceedingly abundantly above what I think or imagine. And I practice it and I walk towards it. Our beliefs are the driving force behind our actions and the reality that we create. So another thing would be, what do you believe? Do you believe that you can start over again? Do you believe that you can heal yourself? Do you believe that you can be abundant? Do you know and believe that you are whole, complete? So we always want to have empowering beliefs that pave the way for a fulfilling and successful life. Gandhi said, a man is but the product of his thoughts what he thinks he becomes. As far as your eyes can see, you would have. If you don't see it, you can't have it. So what are you saying? What do you believe? We want to go beyond and seek that power within each of us that can lovingly direct us to our perfect health perfect relationships, and bring us prosperity of every kind.
So however, to have these things, we first believe that they are possible. If you don't believe it's possible, you won't have it. But just know that you are connected to infinite possibilities. You are one with faith. So every and all things you desire that is good, it's possible. With some place we said, if they are, if you can think of on these things, everything that is good, everything that is great, everything that is love, joy, pure, think on these things. When you do, you produce, you manifest those things. However, to have these things, we first believe they are possible. This power was never bestowed upon us. It has always been there. We are all awakening to this and learning how to use this power. It's our divine nature ready to operate in our lives. This power is only useful if we believe in it and learn how to use it. That's all we gather to remind you that you are powerful. That you can declare a thing and it would come to pass. That you can send your words on errand and it will fulfill that purpose before getting back to you. So if we are waking to this truth and use this power and release the patterns that create conditions in our lives that we do not want, then we can tap into the inner power that already knows what is best for us. It's a daily thing, it's a constant thing. We are constantly releasing every and all thing that does not work for us. Just let it go, let it go. And the psalm says this power is available to us and we can use it. These classes are to, for us to learn that and to learn how to use that power. If we learn to work with this power, we can create a more loving and peaceful and prosperous life. Our minds are always divinely connected to one infinite mind. Therefore, all knowledge and wisdom are available anytime. It's 247 available. We may call this power by many names. God, infinite mind, creative intelligence, universal spirit. We are all one with it. It's an infinite power waiting to be expressed through each of us. If you work it, it will work. It's a divine spark at the center of each one's being. It's a power for good that directs everything in our lives. We're talking about this power that we are one with, that's within us. It doesn't know how to hate, lie, or punish. It's pure love, freedom, understanding, and compassion. We only can experience greater good as often as we align with this power. We are in it, we are of it. In it we live, we move, and we have our being. So we realize that the Spirit's plan for us is one of freedom. Freedom to choose and freedom to express. The Spirit is constantly wanting to express itself through us. Spirit is life, love, and the eternal spirit expressing itself through each of us. Spirit is an infinite and eternal expression operating universally and individually through you and through me. We often hear us say, you are an individualization of spirit of this creative source. So how are you using this power, this oneness that you have? So when we realize we are centers of God's consciousness, 
each day becomes an opportunity, a new opportunity for the infinite to express and create through us. You are one with it. So whatever the challenge that you are facing, it's already conquered in the mind of spirit. All we do is to align with spirits and we get direction and activate that power to pull through it. We are creative points in consciousness through which infinite flows. We can do everything by recognizing this indwelling power as the power in our lives. Again, all things are possible to him, to them that believe. If you believe that you can do anything, it will be possible. And we often say here, nothing happens by chance. You have to work it. It's faith with works. Faith with works. So we are on a divine mission, part of the creative expression of life. Like we said, spirit is constantly expressing itself through us. We are here to use our creative powers to enjoy life and share it with others. The gift of spirit, which is life, it's already given, is there, is within you. We are to discover this divine nature within our experience. We have the life of spirit in us. I like this. We have the life of spirit in us. Whatever you're going through, any situation, any challenge, health issues, that's a wonderful affirmation. I have the life of spirit in me. I am one with infinite possibility. I am one with health, wholeness. I have the life of spirit within me. So it's time to recognize that behind each of us is a great creative intelligence, an infinite universal spirit, which we can access immediately because we are one with it with it each of us is a divine mystery because we are divine manifestation of life the infinite the internal the all possible you are one with spirit we have the life of spirit in us so i close with this affirmation i am a unique expression of the divine filled with infinite potential and love i embrace my inner power knowing i can create a life of abundance health and joy today tonight i open myself to infinite possibilities that lie within me trusting that all things are possible and so it is